money is, which means, what am I, a goat? <laughs> Hello, my name is Gal Gadot, and today I will be teaching you Hebrew slang. This is an easy one. It says, achi. Achi is like brother. Yo, bro. What's up, achi? You know, brother, dude. <laughs> That's a good one. Para para means cow cow. <laughs> and it's basically when you go and you do something, you do it para para. You do it slowly but surely, one step at a time. Para para. Cow cow. Oh, this one I use all the time. Blienara. Blienara in English uh, means no evil eye, and that's basically what it means, uh, against evil eye, blienara. I also add blienara, chamsa, 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 to, against evil eye, blienara. <laughs> okay, chavlaz is a shortened version to say chaval al azman, uh, which means waste of time, but in a good way. It's like when something is chavlas, chaval al azman, it's like, it's chaval al azman. It's like, you won't believe how incredible this thing is. It's you, yeah, chaval al azman. <laughs> okay, try to say it with me. Pam shlishit glida. Pam shlishit glida in English means third time ice cream. And it basically means um, third time's a charm. That's what it means in, in English. Pam shlishit glida. That's a good one. Tachlis. Tachlis means like, okay, what's the bottom line? Let's cut to the chase. Tachlis. <laughs> Yala is a word that Israelis use all the time. Yala, and it basically means let's go, let's do it, no time, yala, yala, yala. Everyone who works with me heard me say yala 20 times at least. This is an easy one, it's esh. Esh means fire, and just like in, in English, in, in American slang, when you say fire, it's like esh, fire. Then we have a very interesting one, Money is, which means, what am I, a goat? <laughs> and and the, the meaning of money is, is basically, I'm, what am I, a dummy dumb? Why, I'm not stupid, you know what I mean? That's what it means, money is. Mapit om, you would, it would mean in English, uh, what all of the sudden, I know, I know it doesn't make much sense, but mapitom in Hebrew means no way. What are you talking about? Mapitom. Okay. <laughs> um, okay. I don't know how to explain this, but this means shtuyot bemitz, basically crap in Jews. And... <laughs> And it's like, it's BS, it's nonsense, it's shtuyot b'mitz. This one means ores. When something is ores, it means it's amazing, it's unbelievable, it's ores. Usually we say ores et abriyut, which means kills the health. <laughs> It kills your health. It's amazing. It's, I can't even say any other thing because it's Ores. I hope I'm being a good teacher here. Okay, that's a good one. Rosh Kruv. Rosh Kruv in English, uh, it means uh, cabbage head. Um, not like the doll, uh, but it means, it, like you say to say, honestly, they hardly ever use it now they don't use it anymore it's like an old school type of term of someone who's not so smart someone who's stupid 
and naive maybe, he's Roche Grouve. Just as a bonus, I want to give you one term that I love using and I use it all the time and it's positive that we say in Hebrew and it means Afa Alaych or Afa Alecha, which means in English flying on you. <laughs> and basically when you say uh, when you say Afa Alaych, uh, it means that I love you so much or I adore you so much or I'm mad about you. Ani Afa Alaych. So... אני עפה עליכם, ונדי פייר.